I'll probably stick this on um, on YouTube or something like that, uh, just uh, just so you can see the the portable conditions here. I'm just uh, scanning up the antenna now. So, well, we're on 80 watts now. That's uh, that's maybe a lot easier than it was uh, on uh, 500 milliwatts, but. Uh, all the same, it's, uh, I think it's quite an achievement. Like you say, the conditions are nowhere near as good as they were. So, uh, so I'm, I'm very happy to work, uh, <laughs> to work on 500 milliwatts. So I appreciate you sticking with it. Back to you. Oh, no, that's a pleasure, Steve. It's always fun to do things like this. And uh, it's just nice to be uh, making the most of good bandwidth and being able to wait so long for them to change. I'm really hoping that we'll get the same on the higher band. When I look at my logbook, um, I've got very few contacts, uh, about 20 metres in the last five or six years, so I'm really looking forward to making some European contacts on 10 metres. Um, I enjoy portable work, Stephen, so I like getting out and about with my buddy stick, and uh, I just, uh, you know, run about uh, 45 watts into the buddy stick, and, uh, and that's a lot of fun too, so I'm hoping to be able to do that uh, on some camping trips and work some good DX. I'm really pleased that after a long way things are changing, Steve, over. Yeah, so am I. I'm, I'm really pleased with the conditions as they are at the moment. Uh, it's going well. and my, my portable and mobile operations have, uh, have taken off, literally. They're, they really are uh, cracking. They're on fire. Uh, and I get out of the house as much as possible. Uh, I, I mean, I've got a full, uh, full station at home. I've got, uh, I've got a four-element beam at home and up to, up to 1,000 watts. Not that we can use that without a notice of variation, of course, but... Uh, but it's uh, it's nice to get out and portable and and see what's achievable on low power and and well compromised systems really. But being by the sea helps a great deal. Back to you. Oh yes, I agree, Stephen. I've got a set up here. I've got a K3. I've got a 400 watt amp fire. I've got a 10 tech eagle. I've got all of this uh, uh, stuff that I have here. And um, time and time again, I come back to the 817 and this little uh, amp. In fact, um, I have another little amp that I threw. Uh, little uh, amp that I put together called an HF Tanker Amp. I'm sure you've heard of them. Uh, they come from uh, uh, HF Projects in the uh, in the US. And uh, I put that together and often run that. And that, uh, so that puts out about uh, 35 or 40 watts. I just run that from the gel. So it's a tiny little thing. Uh, a little bit taller than the 817, but uh, a lot narrower. Um, and it just uh, fits really easily into a backpack. So with the 817 and the HF Packer amp, I can sit there and work the world with the buddy stick. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun and actually more fun than sitting here in front of uh, all, all of this uh, other equipment to Stephen Oakley. Indeed, it's, uh, it's quite a sense of achievement. Um, well, I spoke to uh, Bud Drummond um, whilst he was in, oh crikey, I'm trying to think which island he's on now, uh, crikey. It was earlier on in the year, and uh, he he was activating. They were, they were using the the buddy buddy six and the buddy poles and so on. So I had a, a two way conversation with him. I was mobile at the time on my way to work, and um, oh crack it! I wish I could remember the name of the island. <laughs> Memory escapes me. Back to you. Ah oh, yes, well you can do a lot of fun with the buddy six. You know the interesting thing about them is I think uh, when you model them, they're theoretically quite inefficient. Um, but uh, depending on where you're actually located when you use them, it has a huge influence, obviously, on, uh, on how, uh, what sort of contacts you can make. And uh, sitting up here on the mountain, uh, I can work the world on the buddy stick. It's a lot of fun. And uh, they're just a very compact little antenna folds away into a very small bag that then you can just stick on the back seat of the car. So. Uh,
somewhere between uh, 14 uh, uh, 235 and 14 245. Uh, this is where I sort of usually am, so come and say hello if you hear me. Anyway, back to you, uh, Steve, for your final. Uh, Golf 7, Delta India Echo from Victor Kilo 7, uh, Japan, Boston. VK7, JB, G7, DAE, pedestrian mobile returning. Well, I certainly will. I'll be on tomorrow morning. My, I'm fortunate my wife's uh, gone to see her niece for four days uh, over the weekend, and I've got four days off, so, uh, so that's four days of radio, uninterrupted. <laughs> I'm just going to feed my son, that's it. That's, uh, that's job done, so, uh, so I'm quite lucky there, really. Oh, well, it was great to talk to you today, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to talk to you tomorrow. I, I'll certainly be about tomorrow. Uh, and I'll stick this, uh, this little video up on, uh, on YouTube and, set, and send you a link to it. So uh, there was an Echo Alpha station calling. I'm not sure whether he was trying to talk to you, but he was, he was calling over the top. And I don't know whether you're interested, but uh, as part of the, uh, the wedding celebrations, if you will, that was amateurs who got access to a, an R in our call sign. So if, it's, if you want it in your log, Golf Romeo 7, Delta, India, Echo, Pedestrian Mobile is, uh, is the other call sign I'm using today. Back to you. Indeed, public holiday. Sadly, though, I, I'm a shift worker, so I'm off. I'm off shift anyway. <laughs> so I'm not. I'm not at work today anyway. So there we go. All right. Nice to talk to you. Thanks very much for the long chats. Appreciated and uh, sticking with it on the power tests. Maybe I'll video them next time. I'd, 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 I thought about the video only after I'd done it, but there we go. Nice to talk to you. Take care and have a, a lovely evening. Take care. Bye bye. Oh, very good, Steve. I'd known you were uh, recording it. I'd have put on my radio voiceover. Yes, we've all got a posh radio voice, I suppose. <laughs> Take care, and uh, hopefully I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye bye. Just seeing Stephen, nice to catch you. VK7, JB, going clear tonight. Yeah, good night.